In Creo 10.0, we've added nonlinear contact capabilities within Creo ANSYS. This means you can add contact by bonded, no separation free, and the three new options are frictionless, frictional, and rough. With each of these contacts, you have multiple settings to control, including formulation, contact detection method, adjustments, and stiffness factor. Let's take a look at this assembly, which contains multiple contacts already. To make things more visible, let's explode the assembly. Next, we can do a geometry review to look at what we've already connected and with what type of contacts. It looks like we need to add one more rough contact. A rough contact has an infinite coefficient of friction between bodies where no sliding is permitted. We simply pick the surfaces and the contact is created. Next, we will add one last frictional contact between the two large plates. Frictional contacts can carry uh, shear stresses up to a specific magnitude before they start to slide. After we make that one last contact, let's take one more look at our geometry review. In addition to these new contacts, we also have a large number of new results that are related to contacts that you can define before or after your simulation is complete. Now we will run the simulation with a force pulling this beam away from the plates and a con constraint along the surfaces of, a, of the plate on the right side. After it's complete, let's take a look at the stresses, displacements, and frictional stresses within the assembly. These nonlinear capabilities are within a new offering from PTC starting in Creo 10 called Creo ANSYS Simulation Advanced. We now have embedded the powerful ANSYS contact capabilities within Creo to solve very sophisticated simulations.